And the ongoing protest and warning strike by the non-teaching staff of public universities may have started recording gains. This is as the federal government has now agreed to comply with the 2009 agreement, one of the three demands of the university workers. Correspondent Helen Osamede Akins reports. In 2014, over 2,000 members of SANU and NASU were put out of work following a circular released by the National Salaries, Income and Wages Commission in violation of the provisions of the 2009 agreement between the federal government and the union. This gave rise to a series of protests and strikes that forced the Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment to seek interpretation of a clause in the agreement at the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. This was to ascertain if the university is different from government for the purpose of funding of the university staff schools. The landmark judgment by the court on 5th December 2016 interpreted that the university staff school is an integral part of the university system and the government and the university being the same in the case. It stipulated that employees in the university staff schools remain employees of the university like any other staff and such employees of the federal government. Two years later, the government is just recognizing the court judgment and is now ready to implement it. And the union is wondering why the government had to wait this long to obey court judgment. This letter has already settled whatever it is in the university staff school. And indications are already flowing in that some universities have already started complying by recalling. The circular charged the vice chancellors of federal universities to liaise with the Federal Ministry of Finance and the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation for the provision and release of funds to pay the arrears of salaries of the affected staff members. They fall into the union strike. The federal government is taking steps to meet in one of the demands of the union, but the union is insisting that they will go on the mother of all strike if all their demands are not met. Helen Osamede Ekins, TVC News, Abuja.